Hi everyone, I recently bought a new board game called No Return and this game comes with these little tiles here. On these tiles are numbers from 1 to 11 in different colors and the objective of the game is to bring these tiles into a descending order separated by color. The problem that I have with this game is that it's sometimes hard to distinguish between the different colors and therefore I came up with a simple solution in form of this uh, cardboard tile holder. Here you can put the different tiles on and as you can already see it's way easier to distinguish between the numbers and the colors and in this video I'm going to show you how I created this tile holder. So let's get into production. So we start with a piece of cardboard. As you can see here, there are different areas. The areas A have the height of about one centimeter. The areas B have the height of about 2.5 centimeters. And the important thing is that your tiles fit into the area A because that's the place where you're gonna put them at the end. The distance between left and right defines how broad your tile holder is going to be. And please keep in mind that here is a little star and with this information we can go to the next step. After folding the cardboard along the lines, you put glue at the back of the A area that is marked with a star and you glue it on top of the upper A area like this. You make sure that this piece stays in this position and you wait until it's dry. So now that everything is glued together, the next step is to push the B area to the inside and to fold the A areas one on top of the other. Now you should keep this whole thing into position. I use clamps for this. You should keep it this way to make sure that the cardboard stays into position and then you're done with your tiles holder. So now that we have come to the end of the video, I would like to give you one final tip, which is uh, use the proper cardboard for this project. As you might have seen in the video already, the cardboard that I used produced a, a lot of cracks, which means that it probably wasn't the right cardboard for this project. Um, down below you can see a, another tiles holder, which has been made from another kind of cardboard and it looks way better. So my advice to you is, uh, test different versions of cardboards, uh, find the proper one for your needs. My general advice would be to uh, not use a cardboard that's too thick because then you cannot fold it properly. And if it's too thin, uh, it might not be able to support the tiles that you want to put on. So now that we are really at the end of the video, I would like to thank everyone who made it this far into the video. As usual, you can uh, comment the vi video, you can like it, you can share it, and you can also subscribe to my channel if you want. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're gonna enjoy making your own uh, tiles holder. I wish you a nice day. I wish you a nice life. And maybe we're gonna see us again in one of my future videos. Thank you very much.